Take this over to JR. Sanborn. The smelter's running back? That's the one. He's got a sporty little crisis I'd love to get my hands on. So, are we just stealing cars you want, or do we actually need them for parts? Don't see why we can't do both. Anyhow, I reckon he'll find that car down by the smelter. Ah!
out the road. Let's get this back to JR. <laughs> taste you don't know the half I heard this car is a prototype for a flying automobile now you're just making shit up well it don't fly yet but I'd sure like to have a look see you'll find it parked outside a house in Monta Vista one of your cars. I gotta be classy today. Now that I've got money, I'm gonna buy some art from the kind of collectors who have chauffeurs. Come pick me up at the museum. I've been doing some research so I can blow them away. Be right there.
what are we buying? Three Noshoni Fisher pieces. She's my hero. She made these amazing whimsical sculptures, sheet metal welded over steel frames. I promised myself that if I ever had money, I'd buy some of her work. Call the first collector. I was told you're the owner of a Nishoni Fisher original. Surprise. Huh? It's a big metal apple with a rattlesnake coming out of it. Ah, uh, that piece of junk. Well, I'm a huge fan of the artist, and it can make you a very attractive offer. Ah, there is no amount of money in the world you could offer me for that. <laughs> My ex-husband bought it as an investment, and it drives him nuts that I got it in the divorce. You cannot buy that kind of spite. <laughs> but... she hung up on me. Well... we could just take it. I don't want to take it, I want to buy it. This is my chance to be part of the art world, legit. Look, if she didn't want to sell it because she actually loved it, it'd be one thing. But she doesn't even like it. You do. Why should she get to keep it despite you? I mean... I guess art is meant to be appreciated. Okay, let's get it. That won't fit in the trunk. We're gonna have to tow it. Ah, it is made out of steel. Just drive careful, okay? This is not how I expected my first big art purchase to go. the next one and this time we'll do it right yes hi i understand you're the owner of a nishoni fisher piece music of the desert i'm prepared to pay what it's worth oh i don't need the money hon i'm sure you don't but but i do need the cactus oh it makes a great place to hang the kids swimsuits on summer days uh, sorry Be taking this one as well? <sighs> Looks like. Rust it out, just like I thought. You need to be extra careful driving, or it'll fall apart. I guess not everybody actually appreciates art, even in the art world. Oh, 
guess I won. to go. This time, we do it right for sure. Heidi, Heidi. Yes, hello. I understand you're the owner of the Joni Fisher Moon River. It's a cow. Wait, what? That thing? Oh my god. Me and my sorority sisters stole it from outside the city. I threw up on it. Oh, fuck it, we're stealing this one too. This piece is really fragile. Try not to destroy it on the way home, okay? We interrupt the broadcast with this breaking news. The art thieves terrorizing Monte Vista have been spotted fleeing the area with a large metal cow in tow. Okay. Good news. We're part of the art world. Bad news? As art thieves. Well, we are art liberating. Try. My friend wants this cow. Another one down. chasing us anymore. Must not want a war with the saints over some asshole's cow. I'm really sorry that didn't go down the way you wanted. Nah, those people weren't really art collectors. They were just assholes. I'll make it into the art world for real soon enough. At least I've got the Fisher pieces I always wanted. And I'm gonna treat them right. I mean, once I repair all the damage, we did liberating them. Hey, you, Kev. Eli's calling a board meeting. I'll meet y'all at home. Hello again. 
Okay. We got the names, we got the logo, we got the employees. And we got the fucking money. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Which means there's one thing left to do. How do we make a statement? Well, uh, we just robbed a money train and killed Sergio in a particularly horrific fashion. Oh, so you ripped out Sergio's heart. I was there for moral support. It doesn't matter. Because word on the street is that the Nawali was a one-man wrecking crew. The Saints didn't get any shine from the heist. So, we're gonna need something that establishes us as an institution. All right, so we need to do something that says, we're not going anywhere, come at us. Exactly. We steal the Hummingbird Codex. Marshall wanted to protect it. Panteros and the Idols wanted to steal it. And if it wasn't for that fucking book, we wouldn't have formed the Saints. It should be ours. I like it. How do we do it? I mean, I figured we'd just go in with a bunch of guns and kill the shit out of everybody. But if we want to do some heist movie stuff, I can work with that. Yeah, that's cool. guns work. Sounds good. So the idols hide their stolen stuff in an abandoned boat shop? Under the boat shop. They've got stash houses all over the city. I figure the Codex is probably there because it's closest to the museum. And it's practically next door to us? I know. Stealing the Codex is going to be the easiest statement we ever made. Hells yeah. stairs. Training? Marshall training. Got it. <sighs> Those fuckers almost fucked us up. 
then we better fuck them up twice as much to make our statement. You mean find the code serious heads? Hell yeah. I don't think the bomb went off. So we do this the fun way. And I'm taking you down. Way better than I expected. Just move the codex. Empty this whole place. So how do you empty a boathouse? Of course. The collective's yacht. It's like their HQ. I bet they transferred everything there. Then that's where we're going next. There's some jet skis out back. We can grab one of those. The idols won't shoot at their own jet skis. This is going to be an epic statement because that yacht is guarded as fuck. And every last one of them is going to learn what happens when you try to blow up a saint. Hells yeah! We're going to want a different way back. It sucked to get the codex wet. No worries. Go home for a ride. Hey, Nina. Can you send a helicopter to pick us up from the Collective's yacht? Are you two crazy? Let me see who I can find. We're gonna need a lot of speed to get the jet ski out of the yacht. We can use those ramps to get onto the yacht. Again? I'm getting 
really tired of defusing these things. Cut the pink wire. Got it. Fucking fucks. They nearly blew us up again. I say we return the fucking favor. Hells yeah. I got the Kodak. Let's get this bomb to the bridge. ourselves on a boat with a live bomb and a bunch of angry idols? Probably get out of here before our bomb blows up. Good call. Hush. Oh, Now. 
So, what were we saying? Huh? When? Just now, before the jet skis and stuff. Um, probably that we were awesome, stole the Codex, and fucked up Collective HQ. Yeah, I'm sure that was it. Talk about a goddamn statement. Hells yeah, buddy. Hells yeah. Who messes with the Saints? No one! I said, who messes with the Saints? No one! You're goddamn right, no one. The Saints aren't a flash in the pan. We're here to stay. The four of us founded the Saints, but it belongs to all of us. It belongs to anyone who dreams of making something of themselves and are fucking tired of the world trying to hold them back. Life is hard enough without having to deal with middle managers with no discernible talent telling you how to do your job. Without having to deal with assholes who've had every opportunity, never had to fucking work for a single one of them. Without being told that your time will come. You just have to wait. Be patient. Well, let me tell you something. We're fucking done waiting. <laughs> We all did the work. Now it's time for us to reap the benefits. Kev, I think it's time you throw us a hell of a party. Hey, you boss. Yo! I'm setting up for the party. The word on the street is the idols are in total disarray now that we've blown up their yacht. The anarchists are in a state of chaos, huh? Who could have just showed up with the party supplies? Wanna lend a hand with decorating? Sure. How can I say no to streamers? Do you think we have enough crate paper? Come again? Crate paper. Do we have enough? <laughs> it's crepe paper with a P. Really? Yeah, really. Sorry, folks. Party's over. Who the fuck are you? Chet Drummond, Marshal General Counsel. The Saints are now a wholly owned subsidiary of Marshal Defense Industries. Ha! Uh, no. The employment agreement you signed when we hired you contained a non-compete clause. I signed a lot of shit. I didn't actually read it. Not our problem. By attacking martial interests, to wit, the Frontier Prison, our cargo train, and various other assets, you became a competitor. So, what's your fucking point? Pursuant to Article 9, Section 12, Paragraph 36A, you have surrendered all rights and ownership of the Saints to us. Eli? Oh my god, he's right. Of course I'm right. I wrote the fine print myself. You are aware that didn't solve the issue, right? Yeah, but he was being a dick. Atticus thinks we're gonna roll over while he takes what we built? Fuck that. I'm 